Ciao home. Ciao home. Ciao. Sounds like puppy chow. <laughs> but that's what we do here, I guess. Um, this is blog number five. And I'm just saying hello. Checking in, letting you guys know on more of the events that are going on here in Italy. Um, there's something I was going to tell you. Oh. Hold up. I have fallen in love. Everyone says you come to Europe and you fall in love. I have. I have fallen in love with Nutella. <laughs> this is our third jar. We've been here for two weeks. <laughs> Nutella is the most amazing thing in Europe, period. I love it. Yeah, so I've fallen in love. Class has been great. I put um, some photos up on my blog about um, on MySpace of the shoot that I did for my first project, which was really fun. I'm gonna tell you about that experience. That's what I was gonna tell you about. Um, so uh, he, our project was to take pictures of a certain space, place a corner, a street corner, and take 15 shots of various things that are going on. My teacher is hilarious, by the way. He, when we showed him all of our shots, like every person in the class, he's like, I effing hate this. This is horrible. Why would you even do that? This is horrible. It was so funny. But it was hurt. It hurt too, but it was just really funny because he was really tough and he kind of helped us, like what we need to do and stuff like that. Anyway. So I did my shots on the Point de Vecchio in this corner that I sat in that I was like, ooh, I love this corner. And then later I was like, oh, I'm going to use this corner for my photo shoot. So what I did is I brought some of those. Hold up. I brought these guys from home. You guys have seen them before. They've been in some of my photo shoots before. I love them, and I figured I might use them while I'm here. Because it's cool, like, being in college because you have a lot of extra time to do whatever. And it's cool because my projects are what I want to do. So I get to get those photo shoots done that I've been wanting to do forever. Anyway, so he gave us the assignment to take a space and do something. Take pictures of the space. So I picked my corner and I chose to do something more meaningful than just pictures of a place. I want to get into advertisement, so I use, we all share the same space. <sighs> I did this. We all share the same space. Please control your waste. Here in Europe, okay, they've got a great trash system, however, a lot of the Italians just throw their crap around. Like, I saw this guy walking on the bridge. He had, like, a bottle in his hand. Just threw it over into the river. <laughs> and I looked down from the gelato place where we get gelato on the corner. And I looked down at the river, and there's gelato cups everywhere. They just throw them. Uh, please control your waste. So I did that shoot, and I would grab, I wanted to get people of different shapes, different colors, everything. So I would grab like people off the side of the streets and ask them to take their picture. Which isn't as easy as it sounds. It's very nerve wracking to ask somebody to take their picture. I got put down a lot and no's and old people would be like, no, thinking I'm scamming them. I couldn't really get any real old people, which I wanted to, but everyone thinks it's a scam. But I, um, and the language barrier is tough too. With the, the Italian language, I just kind of used English as much as I could. Anyway, so I got to take pictures of all these people, and they're hilarious. I met a lot of funny people. The picture of...
there's like two guys from Spain. They were f so funny. They had this like water jug like that you carry in the desert on a camel <laughs> full of whiskey. It was so funny. They were so out of it and they were so hilarious and did such a good job in the pictures that I was taking. So it was great. But um, what else? So that was a really good experience for me to push me out of my comfort zone and make me go out there and ask people to take their pictures. So when I come home, it's going to be a lot easier for me to do that when I want to get the pictures I want. We also had gone to a train station in my class, and we had to do basically what I did for my project, is just ask people to take their pictures. So I went around and I met these five guys from Manchester. They were really cute. Anyway, I met them and I sat with them, and they had been traveling for three weeks and they were going to Berlin, Spain, all these crazy, crazy countries. Not like vacation to London and stuff like that. They were doing all these crazy, crazy things. So awesome. And I really have wanted to do that with my friends forever, is going on like a road trip like that. And they were just sitting in the train station hanging out, waiting to leave. And they were telling me a little bit about their trip. And they're really nice. And I got to take pictures and portraits of all of them, which was cool. I got to take pictures of this... Uh, Muslim lady, and I don't know, a lot of portraits, and um, I was walking down the street, and I took a picture of this homeless guy. I do not know what it is with homeless weird people and me. I got kissed by another homeless man. <laughs> no joke. Mom, don't freak out. It was fine. I was with my class and stuff like that, but I took a picture of him, and you know, like, here you kiss everybody. Like, you say ciao, whatever, and you kiss them when you know them, but... I didn't know this man. I had just taken his picture. It was really gross. <laughs> and the other day when I was coming out of the grocery store with my roommate too, again, I didn't get kissed, but I got like, huh? by a weird guy <laughs> again. <laughs> There's not that many weird people, but I seem to attract all the weird ones. So it's a different experience. Homeless people are attracted to me. <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, so that was a really cool experience, just being able to ask people, and you meet a lot of people that way just by asking to take their picture, they're wondering what you're doing. I actually saw this guy today at the Santu Spiritu where we hang out, and he I took pictures of him. He was not very nice. I didn't talk to him today, but I just saw him in the streets. So you kind of see, like, all the regular people around the town, you know, when you get past all the Americans on the other side of the river. We live 30 minutes from the school, which sucks because we have to walk there every day. However, we live far from all the tourists and all the Americans that like to go party and be crazy and loud. So it's good. Um, 